we come to the monastery, because it's nourishing for the mind, nourishing for the heart. The world, for the most part, has material things for us to nourish the body, but does not nourishment for the mind and the heart. The heart needs its goodness. As the Buddha said, we feed off of our intentions, and if our intentions are simply to get this, get that, it's a pretty meager diet. It's not a healthy diet. This is lowering the level of the mind, making material things big, putting them in charge. But here where we hear the Dharma, the Buddha tells us to put our mind in charge. And the mind needs to be nourished in order to maintain that strength to be in charge. So it's nourished with its good intentions, skillful intentions, the intentions not to harm anyone, the intentions to develop as much goodness as you can in terms of generosity and virtue, meditation. And as you do that, your heart gets nourished, even when there are times when the body isn't well nourished. But if the heart is nourished, then you can survive. Otherwise, you look at the human realm and you wonder, why is it worth living here? If there were no goodness, if people didn't have generosity, virtue, and all the other good qualities of the mind that the Buddha teaches, like gratitude, goodwill. This would not be a good place to live. People would just be fighting one another, like those fish in the, in the stream fighting one another for the little bit of water remaining, and then they're all going to die. So you fight and fight and fight and die. If, it, if that were all there were, were to human life, it wouldn't be a good place to be. But it's because there's a lot more. That's why this is a good place to live. It's a place where we can develop our virtue, develop our perfections, nourish the mind, basically to lift it even higher above the human level. The higher you go, the more nourished the mind gets. And finally, the Buddha says, you, you feed off of release, you feed off of freedom. Although really, it's, it's, the word feeding there is just an analogy. In other words, you gain your strength and freedom. But you don't have to feed anymore, you don't have to hold on to anything. But in the meantime, it's good to nourish the mind with the goodness we do. That way, whatever difficulties come up, you can deal with them. There's a phrase in Thai, cham chai, tam chai. It literally means to make your heart or do your heart. But the real meaning is that when there are difficulties, you learn how to control your emotions, you learn how to control your thoughts. So that you can stand whatever is happening. You can not get worked up, not get upset. When you're not upset, then you can see clearly what needs to be done. See what's important, what's not important. And your ability to do that depends on having strength inside. If the mind is not strong, if it's not well fed, it can't arrange itself, it can't look after itself well. So keep on nourishing the heart as you're doing it with goodness, with your generosity, with your virtue and your meditation. And that way it stays healthy and strong.